Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. My name, of course, is Obito Potato. Italy is laying claim to Greek territory. And that is potentially a little bit of a problem for us because, you know, as, uh, as the Empire, we are, we are, we are trying to protect the, in the entire world. Indeed we are. And uh, these claims are completely ludicrous, completely ridiculous, and, uh, and therefore I shall have none of it. Right, what can we do about Greece? I mean, we can, can we guarantee the independence? Need eight more political power. Eight more political power. What are we using our political power on? Staging a coup against legionaries, Bulgaria, daily, blah, 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 blah. All right, we probably need to get rid of some of this nonsense. Uh, cancel, boost popularity. You're allied with the Axis anyway, so not that bothered. You uh, cancel staging the coup. What is a coup staging for? Like, how, how much... How far through this coup are we? Uh, we're, we're almost to the coup. Let's, let's see what happens. It's been such a long time ago that I actually set this. Air wings with no mission. Uh, in what? In Holland. Why? Let's, let's get out of Holland. Get the, get the fuck out of Holland, man. Uh, do not, do not be hanging around Holland. We've got air superiority over uh, over this area, so I think we can be very, very happy about this. Very, very happy. Uh, how are things going? Oh my goodness, Egypt is is doing great for us. Egypt is doing real good for us. Uh, we're just getting the armored infantry that's coming as well, so really rather happy about that. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I said that I was going to rearrange this front, didn't I? Yeah. We have a, a couple of problems here, right? Problem is, as you may be aware, I don't really give a shit about front, uh, fronting along the French border, uh, fighting along the French border. There we go. Perfect. I don't give a shit about fighting along the French border. The French can lose territory for all I care. I'm not a protector of the France, okay? As has previously been seen. I'm, I'm not a big fan of protecting France, so we're not going to. The offensive line is going to be right up here and right down here. Okay, good. Perfect. Uh, let's let people get entrenched or uh, or dug in or whatever the hell you call it, and then we shall move out. Now, fighters in London, you are standing by. Let's put you to work in the south of England, I guess. South of England is probably a good, a good shout. Still says we've, that we've got air wings that are not being used up. Hey, the fire of revolution now burns. Let's slow things down a little bit. Republic of Bulgaria declared war on Legionnaires Bulgaria. So, what is going on? Alright, so we've got these guys who are really cool. And then we've got these guys who don't like us so much. Invite to faction. If you want to come into the faction, hey, I'm not losing a war. It says that we're losing a war. That's that's not the case. Uh, close air support in Egypt. Yes, we would love to do such a thing. And you can be on close air support too. Beautiful. All right. As I previously mentioned, we need to try and push up to try and get a little bit of infrastructure. Um... I cannot remember where the hell the the bloody you can invite to faction. They will accept. This will not change world tension, but congratulations, you're now part of the faction. We stand together. Indeed we do. Although I have a feeling that there's almost nothing that I can actually do to save you. You may well be fucked. Oh god. What is this? These are Japanese fighters. This is a problem. This is a problem. Yeah, we are... We're gonna lose this. We're gonna lose this. We're gonna lose this. Yeah, this is this is a problem. Uh, okay, we need to withdraw our fleets because I'm not confident enough to... I'm not confident enough to... to... to, to, to actually do that. 
you go here. Hold. Yep, go to port. You go to port as well. Yeah, I, I don't feel confident doing this stuff. Uh, this is quite a quite a good fleet. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that one on up there. It seems to be doing moderately successfully. North Atlantic fleet. I would love it if you could go to Malta. Thank you very much. Thank you. That would be great. Yeah, but this naval battle has cost us pretty much everything, and we didn't take anything out. Our our navy is something which honestly is very, very, very behind the times, and we really need to, to get with it. Low manpower, I know, I know, I know. Uh, equipment required for division reinforcements, anti-air, seems that we need some anti-air, that's fine. We've done a great job on, on inventory equipment, though, so I'm pretty happy with that. Let's scale that back a little bit. We've got a couple of military factories that are now free, that's good. Uh, close air support, yes, I would love to upgrade this, if at all possible, so we'll be looking for... Uh, a replacement to that close air support. Light tanks, that needs to be reinforced. Strategic bomber, that's fine. Yeah, but we're going to need anti-air. And we should be fine for resources, yeah? There we go. And we'll invest a little bit in our anti-air. It's going to take a little bit of time to get itself sorted out, but it should be A-OK. -okay. Large ships, low in strength. I know, you told me. Thanks for reminding me. Republican Spain, are you are you a fan of me? You're not exactly not a fan of me. But yeah, things are going quite well. Okay, this is good. This is good. Okay, uh, military plan. I'm thinking that we engage the military plan. Some divisions are not in position. Really? Uh, divisions are still moving around at the moment, so fingers crossed everybody should be in position as soon as possible. Um, battle plans with no assigned units. Luxembourg. Wars have been merged. Fantastic. Does Luxembourg even exist? Oh shit, we're fighting back in Amsterdam. This is good news. Can we get some troops in there? We can get some troops in here, actually. Let's, let's do it. I mean, the battle is almost lost, but... Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Okay. Where where are you? Where where are you? Like where is where are your troops? Oh, you're up here. Okay. Yeah, let's let's engage your battle plan. This is to our advantage. This is good. We'll carry out that. We'll try and push into into Germany. That's the plan anyway. Uh let's take all of our proper land forces over here as well. Can we not move them over here? I do not know. Alright, so you... So you, yes. You, you. It's assigned to you. Let's give you a front line. There we go. Perfect. And... Assign everybody to the front line. So please move out to over there as quickly as possible. But yeah, fingers crossed we can actually manage to push in here and uh, and actually win a little bit of a, a war on German turf. Not to mention, down in Africa, things are really, really heating up. Now, divisions are almost all in position. It's going to be a little while before they are, though, so no rush to move out on that front. However, it is something that we do want to do. Okay, yep, you're moving home. You're moving home. Everybody's moving home. How are we doing in the Battle for the Skies? Battle for the Skies is going fantastically. Large strips on low strength. Don't care, don't care. Uh, carrier fighter. Carrier fighter. Naval bomber. Okay, so lots of shit, really. Um, where are we on research? And when are we when are we done with this with this nonsense research? I'm really keen on uh, on sorting this out. Yeah, Vichy, France. It's, uh, yeah, we're at war with them. Not not thrilled. Bunch of fascists, really. Uh, let's try and get some new some new tech. I don't know what we really want, but um, advanced computing. 
Research time minus 5%. That'd be kind of nice. Mm, I'm not that bothered, to be honest. Naval carriers. Oh, shit. I'm going to I'm not going to lie. I didn't think that there were any more naval carriers if I scrolled down. <laughs> so uh oh, that's a little bit annoying. Naval invasion capacity. No, I'm not that bothered to be honest. I would like some naval bombers and naval carriers. That would be really cool. Naval fighters even. Oh. Jet engines. This is very cool. Uh let's get you because we do need another naval fighter. I think this is a naval fighter. Oh, naval bomber even. That's fine. Good. Let's do that. I think that's a, a good choice. Yep. Sure. Sure. You're very you're very much welcome to send me pretty much anything that you want. We still got six troops sitting around here. You should be assigned to an army. Let's just move you to Great Britain. Fuck. I fucked it up. I fucked it up. There we go. You dispatch to... Here? No? Why not? What's wrong? Are you not in a port? I guess you're not in a port then, I guess. Okay, well... It's kind of weird, but hey-ho. Or is it because it's icy? Is that is that what the problem is? That may well be what the problem is. Well, we'll see. We'll see in a second. Nope, ice is not the problem. We're not we're not blocked in by ice. That's fantastic. How are things going in Africa? Uh, mediocre. Not bad. Do remember that we haven't engaged our plan yet. Some divisions not in position. Who is not in position at this point? We should all be in position. I mean, you say some divisions. I feel that... Oh, shit balls! We are, we are taking territory like there's no tomorrow. Alright, engage the battle plan. Let's do it. Let's go fight. Let's see what the hell's gonna happen here. Um, there is also some shenanigans over there, which we need to be concerned about, but I'm not too worried about that. Alright. Honestly, you really should have made up your mind before you fucking mucked around. That's fine, though. It's fine. Hey, hey. get wrecked, buddy. Uh, we we could do with some anti-air over here. That would be kind of nice. Two anti-air turrets over there. I'll take it. I'll take it. Repairing some, some forts and stuff. That's okay. Not a big deal. We're working our very, very best. Working our very, very hardest to uh, to win this war. It's, this is good. This is good. I feel that we're in a good place. We've got lots of reinforcements here. Um, apart from being in the desert, nothing is tragically wrong with this. Battle plans with no assigned units. Hmm. That's a little bit of a problem, isn't it? Uh, I'm just going to leave this area for now. I'm just going to pretend that it doesn't exist and hope that it doesn't come back to bite us in the ass, actually. We are pushing in. Oh, no. The enemy managed to regain ground. This is not what I was promised. I was promised success. Where is my success that I was promised? Uh, industry, anything that we care about in industry? Not really, to be honest. Production efficiency cap? It's probably worth researching. Considering we've been producing the same damn things for so fucking long. Yeah, I would say so. Anti-aircraft guns are being worked on. That's great. Speaking of anti-aircraft, how are we doing for control of the skies over here? You know what? Actually, for, for where it matters, we're not doing too darn badly at all. Uh, we could dedicate some resources to, to this area. That might be a nice idea. Thinking that that might be a good plan. Hmm. There is... There's no way to navally invade these guys, is there? Hmm. Naval invasion. That would be cool. Let's give this a shot. There we go. 
All right. Well, rest in pieces, I suppose. No? Here? What? How, wait, what does it work? How does this work? Click on one of the highlighted provinces to set the invasion source. Oh, okay. Delete that. Delete that. That's nonsense. Uh, invasion source here to here. There we go. Yeah? No, I want to... Nate, you fucking dick. God damn it. Alright. Yes, here. To here? Is this gonna work? Are we... There we go, okay. It was right click, left click, fanny fanny around. Four divisions, I'll take it. Research slot, yes please. Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Uh, research time, what is this? Time to radar or whatever. Ah, whatever. Who gives a shit? Factory output plus 20%. Yeah, let's get it. Unfortunately, we're not researching very many, like, specific battle technologies right now, but... Hey-ho. Alright, let's do it. Let's invade. Let's see what the hell happens. I'm, I've never tried this before. I don't know what's going to happen, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. How are we doing on this battlefront over here? Not very well, I don't think. Not very well. I hope we shall be doing better. We could probably do with sending like a fighter squadron or something so that we can get some air support over here. That's that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that that's perhaps the best course of action. Although we might very well end up making gains here. I, I just don't know. I just do not know. I mean, there's a lot of reinforcements. We've got a lot of reinforcements, but they've also got a lot of reinforcements. So it's going to be kind of close, I guess. It's going to be kind of close. This is gained by air superiority ships on missions. So do we not have naval supremacy? Oh, shit. We've got naval supremacy over here. So let's delete this, I guess, then. And then let's go for an invasion order. Click that tile there. And then this tile here. Will that work? No divisions, zero transports. Yeah? No? Do we need some transport ships? Is that what we're missing? Are there specific transport ships or are they convoys? Um, they should be used for convoys, surely. Um, I thought that they were used for, uh, for convoys. That's what I thought, anyway. Yeah, or am I just going absolutely insane? Who fucking knows at this point, right? A significant development. The fall of... Wow, okay. Japan is invading China. This is a problem. This is a real problem for us. Well, at least we've sort of mucked around with that to the point that I know that it is something that we're considering doing. Oh, beautiful. Look, we're finally getting the reinforcements that we so desperately need in Africa. Four divisions have arrived at Libyan Desert. Fantastic. National focus completed. Beautiful. We need another national focus, and I don't know what it is going to be. Jet aircraft. Oh, God. That would be kind of cool. Um, Maybe these guys? Maybe some of this stuff? I don't know. I haven't thought about it. I haven't thought about it. Britannia rules the waves. Naval doctrine. I really want to... I really just want to research jet aircraft. That's what I really want to do. If I'm completely honest. Losing boats like there's no tomorrow. Man, I really want to... I really want to sort this... This this stuff out. What is, what is your problem? Convoys. We have loads of convoys, right? We have loads of convoys, so do we need to build like a, in a division designer or something, or do we need to produce something special or convoys, troops around and performing naval actions? If you ask me, that sounds like we've got all of the, the necessary components. 
for what we need. And I'm failing to see the problem here. Am I just going like completely nuts though? Is that is there just like something that I'm I'm completely missing? You know, we can. Yeah, we can. We can assign people to this, right? But only to a certain extent. Can we? Do we have to put like an offensive line in? Is that a problem? That kind of works a little bit better. Alright, invasion is still preparing. Okay, okay, okay. This this seems to be working a heck of a lot better. Alright, how are we doing up in the north up here? Still haven't made any gains. Wow, and we're on zero manpower right now. So, this is a problem. I honestly thought that we were going to make more gains than we have. But it seems that this is a tough, tough, tough front to crack. And not to mention the fact that we're fighting in the Sahara Desert, so the attrition is quite literally ludicrous. Um, it's kind of insane. But we need to crush Italy here before we can move out of anywhere. You know, we, we literally have no other option. It's, it's all or nothing here. Naval bomber, um, naval fighter, that's... Fine, I guess. You just chill out in here. Chill out in here. Strike enemy ships in the area. Now, there's an airbase right here in Jutland. Now, we've got some Spitfires. Let's put this down to like 100 or whatever. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Uh, okay, and put this down to... I suppose it doesn't particularly matter. But there we go. Alright, grand. Create a new air wing in Jutland, yeah? Is that fine? What? Cannot. Oh, not enough manpower. Oh, jeez. So we've got plenty of fighters, but like zero manpower at all. Yeah, this is a problem. This is a real problem that we're going to have to address, and I don't really know. Limited conscription, volunteer only, disarmed nation, extensive conscription. This is fine. We can do this, but we just need 150 manpower. Training time is plus 10%, though. This this is going to become a problem. But, you know, it's okay. It's okay. We've got to do it. We've just got to do it. There we go. 1.6 million. Training time increased, but at the same time, manpower to actually do some stuff. We just cannot throw away our manpower that uh, like we did last time. All right. Fantastic. How long is it going to take you to get there? A little bit. A little bit of time. That's that's not a problem. That's not a problem at all. Alright, standing by. We want you to operate over here. We want you to be on interception and air superiority. We're going to contest this if it's the last bloody thing we do. Let's get some strategic bombers and close air support. Yes, a lot of close air support. And yes, a lot of strategic bombers. When I say a lot of strategic bombers, I mean a few strategic bombers. Yeah, we are bloody well going to control this area. Republic of Bulgaria has been captured. Yeah, we knew that was going to happen. We kind of forced them upon it. Uh, let's do some close air support. Yep. And also strategic bombers as well. We're going to conduct strategic bombing on the enemy. So that is going to really change, I feel, the direction of the war over here. Already, we're pushing in because we've got air superiority and we're not being absolutely beaten down. Uh, this guy is ready to go with his... No, he's not. He's not ready to go go to go for his fucking invasion thing. It's gonna take a while to get that sorted out, but we're gonna we're gonna have a nice little a nice little land invasion, or a nice little naval invasion, should I say, in the next episode, which is gonna be fun. France wants to send seven divisions to help me out. I'll take that any day of the week. Japanese bomber getting shot down. That's fine. We're close. We're close to to achieving our goals in Africa. However, 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 it's a, it's a little bit costly for us. A little bit costly for us. 
Although, overall, I would say things have really moved forward this episode. They really, really have. Uh, missing equipment production, naval bomber, and CV naval bomber. What is this? Nav naval bomber. This is basically naval bomber that we need to get sorted out. Build aircraft. Um, naval bomber, I suppose. This is the one. But we're working on a new naval bomber. Isn't that true? I'm sure that we were. Yeah, naval bomber. This is this is the ticket. The naval bomber. So, fingers crossed, uh, as soon as this one is, is, is finished researching, we should be able to immediately take advantage of that. Hmm. Well, that, re that remains to be seen, I suppose. But, you know, at least the Netherlands is still holding. They are doing a very, very, very admiral, admiral, admirable job up here. And, uh, you know, they're actually slightly making gains um which is which is mighty impressive i must hasten to add uh, and we can actually we can actually land some troops over here and help them out it's kind of risky but hey ho i say kind of risky it's not very risky at all uh, but it's not going to be equipped to any one specific general okay Good. I want you to go and fight on this front over there. Yeah, help out over there. I think that's a good shout. We'll try and we'll try and do what we can. You know, we'll we'll play our role. But it's it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. You are still moving into position. Invasion is still preparing. It's taken a while, but we're doing it. A naval invasion is gonna take place, and holy cow, we're actually making gains. This is very, very good. Now, I imagine, I imagine that the German Air Force must be trying to counter this somehow. They must be. Oh, are we ready? Invasion is still preparing. Division is still preparing. That's fine. We're working on it, though. We're working on it. This is good news. This is certainly good news. I think the Germans are going to be rattled by this. I, I am very confident that we are, uh, we're maintaining our foothold in Europe. We're bringing it back. He's going to have to start moving. Oh, great. Fantastic. Great. Grat, Sweden. Um, are you in any danger of being taken out? Not really, to be honest. You're not actually in that much danger at all. In fact, you are going to come and help us out tremendously in our battle down here. This is honestly one of the, the largest advancements that I think that we've made uh, to date onto... German territory, which is right over here. And Berlin is not very far from Denmark at all. It really, really isn't. Construction 3 has just been finished. You can invite to faction. Uh, Republic of Turkey. Yeah, grats. Come to, come to the faction of the good people. What else do we need here? We need d -d 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 construction. Not that bothered about construction, I'll be honest. Uh, still working on that there. Naval doctrine, submarine detection, sub-destruction... I'm just not going to faff around with submarines and whatnot. Improved artillery, support artillery attack. Let's get support artillery attack. Seems like something that we should be doing. Uh, Republic of Turkey has joined our faction. Fantastic. And uh, let's continue bumping out some more light tanks, I think. I think that's probably in order. Um, except, no, it's not in order because I do not do not do not want to uh, to pay for any more steel if we can avoid it and instead we'll build we'll build some we'll build some fighters great or some uh, close air supports can't upgrade these yet can we no still can't still can't i would love to create some variants and that's something that we will actually be doing we're going to be creating some um some variants estimated plan value minus 30% don't think so negatively. Tank brigade making progress, which is good. Man, we're winning the battles. We're winning the battles that are that are turning out to be really, really important. And I presume that we're still main maintaining air superiority. It it has really turned out that air superiority is the key to to making this push. I mean, we were holding without air superiority, and now we're pushing with air superiority. Yeah, very, very happy with that. And, uh, and you know, the battle for the Sahara, holy cow, rages on. Um, looks like our line was broken, actually. 
This, this is a problem. It seems that the Italians have moved more troops down here. Well, we're going to have to deal with this in the next episode, ladies and gents. Uh, yeah, sure, whatever. Great. Ladies and gents, thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Obda Potato. We have been trying to up the empire. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.